Hey everybody, welcome to the channel, Taking the Bathroom. The bathroom is the only place where you can play your gadgets in peace. On this channel, we do product reviews and also some tutorials. If you want to support the channel, go ahead and check out my ebook, www.themanthatsetthemselfonfire.com. We also have a PayPal donation link in the description of the video. All right, straight to three ways you can improve your speed on your hotspot. Now, today we're going to use the Mi 5. And the reason why I'm addressing this issue is because in my emails, I'm constantly get tech. How can I get my speeds adjusted? How can I get my speeds faster? Tech, I'm not getting fast speeds. Tech, I brought the video. How can I get my speeds up? Now, first of all, people, I always tell you that location matters. It's all about location, location, location. However, before you even get the hot spot or before you offer the hot spot to the clients, what do I tell you guys? I say, look, have your client or yourself get an AT&T phone with data on it. Go to fast.com. When you go to fast.com, you look at those speeds that will dictate to you how fast your hot spot will run. Now, of course, there's different spots in your home. I talk about having a double roof. I talk about tin roof. I talk about how to place it close to windows. I even talk about how to use antennas guys watch the video now if you want to resell internet if you want to learn how to resell hotspots guys i have a video 25 dollars invest in yourself while i walk you step to step and by the way stop emailing me or leaving comments on my video that people can get this information for free on the internet if you tell me that i'm gonna block you i'm gonna delete you because i say that countless times that hey you can do the same thing you can do the same research i took two months i invested 700 dollars in different products i learned how it worked i put it together in the video you can do the same thing but if you don't want to take two months to spend 700 dollars hey go ahead and invest in yourself step by step with supporting material supporting videos to help you start selling internet and cable today let's jump right into number one one of the things you can do is make sure that you have a correct imei number iemi number is going to help your device communicate with the cell towers what type of device this is what type of signals it can get and it can receive so the imei number is very 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 important the main thing besides location is what type of hotspot do you have the hotspot you have matter is it compatible with at&t remember we're using the unlimited unthrottled truly unthrottled at&t method but it's with a android tablet or an ipad tablet imei number again i have videos showing you how you can get those numbers it's important that you have a hotspot that have the ability to connect to the different bands on at&t i talk about that in the video that i'm asking a 25 dollar donation for what type of bands at&t have if you don't want to get the video look up the bands make sure that your high spot have the main bands for at&t here's something that i never touched on before and something that i think could help your speeds you want to look at the channels and you want to look at the bandwidth like any routers you have the ability to go in there and you can't adjust the channel network congestion guys does affect your speed some people might say hey tech late at night i'm getting x but early in the morning i'm getting b or in the middle of the day i'm getting c yes network congestion can impact the speed of your hot spot so let's jump into the hot spot i'm going to show you exactly the my five specifically but you can do this on most of the hot spots how you can adjust your channels and your bands just to tweak out our speeds and see if we can get them a little higher let's jump into it all right so let's jump into the camera now here here is the me fire right here one of the things you have to do you have to go and log on to your me fire on your device all right let me back up once you log into your me fire into your me fire then you want to go settings and website it's going to be the website you want to put into your browser and by default this is password I like changing my password now uh, once you are in there this is how it's going to look okay so the first thing we want to do we want to go ahead and sign in make sure you know your password remember i just showed you but if you change it make sure you document where you put your password we come right here and we have a few options now i also want to show you why i have you guys up here you come right here to these three lines at the top right hand side and if you ever need to change your apn you can come right here go to settings you go to mobile networks now while you're right here at network you come down you go in to see advanced settings and you can change your APN right there. Remember, if you're not getting any connectivity, a lot of times you have to come right here and change your APN to broadband. I have videos on there like I stated before. Then we want to come back. Hotspot, general. 
and then we have some options we have the 2.4 gigahertz and we have the 5 gigahertz band i want to select the 5 gigahertz band and we want to tweak the bandwidth and we want to tweak the channel now you can play with all of these settings people just remember the setting that you started off with but a lot of times these channels get congested and you have the option to change them and just see if that improves your speeds or not now this is the excellent way for you to kind of tweak out some better speeds using the settings inside of your MiFi. not only is it a hotspot but inherently it is a wi-fi router meaning you can't adjust the bandwidth and everything like that you can adjust the bandwidth that can help you get off of those congested channels which would allow you to tweak out or squeeze out some faster speeds play around with it just remember there are different ways you can improve your speeds okay so let's recap can you improve your speeds on your hotspot yes there's several things you can do i talked about it in this video i talked about other methods on this channel the main thing you want to do is make sure that you are in a good location people wait that's right location 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 hey it's your boy taking the bathroom until next time peace don't forget to subscribe 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 these are some of the ways you can improve your hotspot you can change your bandwidth you can change your channel make sure you have a good ime i number guys and make sure that your hotspot is compatible with at&t even if you get an unlocked hotspot make sure that they are capable of operating on the at&t bands as always do your research if you want that video send a cash out to dbogan78 or paypal me at taking the bathroom or bathroom minister 2m at gmail.com a 20 minute video 25 dollar donation get you the how to step by step get your hotspot up and running give you all the information about how you can sell a hotspot and a lot of supporting information in the description of that video i mean i have videos showing you how to manage your clients videos showing you how to get an ime number etc 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 invest in yourself make sure you include your email especially if you're sending the cash app peace like share and subscribe don't forget to subscribe and also hit that notification button so you can be up to date with all of my latest videos